Hey guys, I had shared a video earlier uh, showing how you can uh, transfer data from an HTML form uh, to Google Sheets using a simple hack uh, using Google Forms. This is the video in case uh, you have not checked it. Uh, you can just check this video. Now the problem is Google is supposedly rolling an update and they are updating it in a phased manner. So this process, it's working for some and it's not working for some. I have not been able to fix that uh, till now because uh, in, in my case, uh, my Google Forms is still uh, the older one. I still have no access uh, to the newer Google Form interface. Uh, however, uh, recently I uh, found a solution. Uh, it was suggested uh, uh, by one of uh, the viewers, Hamid. So Hamid came up with the solution. Uh, let me just share that with you. So this is how the new Google Form uh, view source looks like. And in there, if you search for entry, you won't find it there. Uh, again, like if you're not able to understand what exactly I'm saying, you have to relate this uh, with my previous video. I'm sharing the link, so you can check that first. Uh, yep, so uh, the entire idea of making it work is to use the entry codes. And in the new forms, the entry code is missing. So uh, here's the hack. What can be done is, instead of entry, you can just go and type hidden. Uh, if you scroll down a bit, you will find some numbers out here. So let me take you to a real example. So this is a form. Uh, this is what this one is set up with the new Google Forms. And if I just go to page source, here I can just search for hidden. So there are a few like seven, seven entries. So I'll just scroll down. And here we go. Now here you can see for name, this is the code for contact. This is the code. So out here, uh, you see this number. So what you have to do is you have to basically uh, replace it with this number. And that's about it. I, uh, did check a few more examples and it seems to be working fine. So if you're not able to find the entry code, if you have the new Google Forms interface, just give this method a try. Uh, in case it doesn't work, uh, just uh, post it in the comments and uh, we can go ahead and look uh, what, what, can, what else can be done. Uh, apart from this, uh, I had uh, mentioned that uh, you know, I've also been testing uh, an alternate solution. So this can also be done using Google Apps Scripts. A uh, bit more complex, but I'm just trying to simplify that and I'll post it soon. Thank you.